Good morning, class six. I am Anil Bhagat, your science teacher from Modern International School, Hiswa. Today, in this video lecture, we will discuss about chapter ten, that is motion and measurement of distances. Yesterday, we had discussed about types of motion, that is rectilinear motion, motion in a straight line. Curvilinear motion, motion on a curved path, and they both known as linear motion. Then comes circular motion, motion in a circular path. Under this, we discussed about rotation and revolution by taking the example of motion of Earth and Sun. Today, we will discuss about periodic motion. So, class, when an object repeats its motion in a fixed interval of time, when an object repeats its motion in a fixed interval of time, it's called periodic motion, like pendulum of a wall clock. It's an example of periodic motion means body is moving and repeating its motion and the motion is repeated in fixed interval of time under this or similar to this motion there is one more motion called oscillatory motion that is to and fro motion of an object to and fro motion of an object the next type of motion is vibratory motion that is same like oscillatory motion when the when a when the object vibrate means shake on its position that is called vibratory motion like the strings of a guitar so these three types of motion are similar to each other so i hope you understand periodic motion that is motion of an object you know, at a fixed interval of time repeats its motion again and again now class we observed these types of motion and now we have to understand some motion of some objects in which there are two types more two types of motion at the same time like when you throw a ball on the ground the ball is moving itself and also rolling on the ground and moving in a forward direction so the ball is moving on its own axis rotation and also moving on the ground that is rectilinear motion motion in a straight line the same way when you ride a bicycle then the wheel of bicycle rotating on its own axis and also moving forward previous lecture in previous lecture we discussed about earth that earth is moving on its own axis and also revolving around the sun so two types of motion at the same time two types of motion at the same time so class if you observe in your surroundings then you will find motion is present everywhere and how will we understand this motion when a body moves it covers a distance and this distance we can find out by measurement uh, we already understand already understand and discussed a lot about measurement how to measure a length so by measuring this length we understood that okay something is moves from one place to another place so this way motion and measurements are related with each other without measurement we cannot we just observe that okay something is moving but how much distance it covers 
we have to use measurement to know that so this way they are related to each other and by relation of this we can understand the movement of anything and the way it moves so comes transport like it's our motion it's our movement we cover a distance by the help of several types of transport system so this is how these three topics are connected each other that something is moving how much moves by the help of measurement we'll find out and how it will move or to cover a long distance or to cover a short distance what type of vehicles we need we will understand by the help of transport so this way this chapter ends here i hope you all understand about this chapter any problem ask me we will revise this chapter again thank you class have a great day be safe at home